Hi guys, um, so this is my 19 week update. I am so, so late getting this out to you guys. It has just been a crazy week. Um, over the weekend, my son started like throwing up in the middle of the night and then um, I thought it was just like this like 24, maybe 24 hour, maybe like two day like bug that he had but it lasted almost the entire week. Like he just went back to school yesterday. <laughs> yesterday was Thursday. And um, it and it started like overnight from Friday onto Saturday. And uh, yeah, it was not fun, but it took up a lot of my time and um, it just kept me busy. <laughs> and on top of that, I've been just like, cleaning and sanitizing my house because I for one do not want to get it. I cannot afford to have the flu or whatever it was. I took him to the doctor and they said it was like an intestinal virus, but it's like very contagious. Like it is going around everywhere. And um yeah, so anyways, um to start, I'll start with my symptoms as always. Um for week 19, I didn't really have many symptoms. Sorry, I look like crap, guys. I look like crap in every video, but it's because I'm just doing stuff around the house and I'm in a rush in the morning to get ready. And um, yeah, anyways. Um, so I didn't have any symptoms in week 19. I would just say tired. Um, I feel like just very heavy. <laughs> Um, like even though I'm hungry, I just feel like on the outside, like I'm super full, like it's very uncomfortable. Um, but it's all good. Uh, it's not painful or anything like that. The cramping, um, isn't too much. I haven't been having as many Braxton Hicks, so that's good. And then, um, I've got the varicose veins still, but... Um, as I showed you guys in my last video of second trimester must-haves, if you haven't seen that, go check it out because there's a lot of um, good things in there to help you get through your second trimester. Um, it's good for like you first-time moms who um, the second trimester is new to you. Um, and it's just kind of nice knowing certain things that will make it a little bit easier for you. Anyways... Varicose veins, I am using my lemongrass, peppermint, and lavender oil on those, and I just started doing that, so um, we'll see how well it um, works on those. And then I have been feeling um, some dizziness. Um, I think this started in week 18, and um, I'm now obviously 20 weeks because... I'm like getting this video out, but um, yeah, I just randomly get dizzy out of nowhere and it's, uh, I don't like it. I don't like to be dizzy, <laughs> but uh, it doesn't last long, so it's not terrible. And as far as cravings go, I don't really have any new cravings to share with you guys. It seems like it's the same thing just about every week. Um, I would say if anything, I am starting to crave soda a little bit more again. And I think that just has to do with like a blood sugar thing. Um, and probably more so with the dizziness too. It's just like blood flow is weird. My blood sugar crashes really easily. And, uh, so yeah, I think my body's just kind of craving the things it needs to hold on to. And then... As far as baby's size, um, in week 19, the baby was the size of a mango. I do not have one to share with you because with all the craziness, I was not able to get to the store and go buy a mango. <laughs> um, but that would be about um, six inches and eight ounces according to the um, what to expect app. And I am possibly going through like a nesting phase. And I know that seems a little bit early to be nesting, but I like constantly clean my house. And I don't know if it's 
nesting or um, I've been watching um, like some YouTube channels of um, like just to get moms motivated like one of them that I really like to watch is called Beauty and the Beastins um, and she puts out a motivational video on Sundays and Tuesdays and um, I just love like watching her cooking recipes and then um, just watching her clean and organize really motivates me to clean and organize but at the same time like yeah I'm motivated from these videos but at the same time I, it's like all that I do all day long is just clean organize clean organize and then I was totally geeking out the other day because I was out of like um, cleaning spray I wanted to clean my bathrooms and so I looked up like DIY bathroom sprays and so I ended up making one that I found. It's um, apple cider vinegar, Dawn dish soap, and then it recommended like lemon essential oil, but I am currently out of my lemon essential oil. So I used one called Purify and it's got lemon in it, but it also has like tea tree and basil and a couple other ones in there. And I figured like with the tea tree and stuff, that's good for mold, it's like good antibacterial. So Purify was a good one to use and um, you don't add any water to it. It's like nice and thick, but it still sprays and then put it in a glass spray bottle and um, still sprays pretty well. Um, I think I did end up adding like a couple tablespoons of water to it, um, but that was mostly just to kind of like rinse out the residue that was in my cup that I used to pour into the spray bottle. Um, I shouldn't say residue, that sounds bad. <laughs> um, just like the last bits of um, the mixture that I made. I kind of swirled some water in there and then poured it in the spray bottle. Um, but oh my gosh, it worked amazing. I will never buy another like one at the store again. And then it also really works out too because I'm pregnant and I'm not like breathing in all these nasty like bleachy fumes or you know, even if you do use ones that like don't have like all the chemicals in it like the method brand or um maybe like the seventh generation and stuff like that like i've never really used those so i don't know how well they work but um this to me saves a lot of money because it was only half a cup of apple cider vinegar and half a cup of dawn dish soap just like the original one you could probably also use like the original like palm olive too I really like that brand as well um, I don't really use Dawn for my dishes I just have the giant um, dish soap from Costco um, but uh, but yeah I used Dawn like the original Dawn to like get stains out in my clothes and so I had some on hand and I used that and then um, in the recipe that I saw, um, it called for about a tablespoon or maybe it was a teaspoon of the lemon essential oil. Um, so with my Purify oil, I just, I didn't measure out a teaspoon of it. I just did 20 drops in that. And um, oh my gosh, I was totally geeking out. Like it took every ounce of soap scum off every part of my bath slash shower um, took hard water stains off of like the the handle that you use to you know turn on the water and then it's got like a little metal back to it and then like the faucet and everything um, I can never get those hard water stains off ever and it took it right off like it was so shiny and I'm actually gonna post pictures um, after my belly shot um, at the end of this video just so you guys could see how good it worked It would probably do it justice if I did like a before and after picture um, But I did not do that I just had cleaned everything and then decided to take pictures of it so that I could show it off <laughs> but metal like even like the drains in my sinks um, I can never get those to shine as long as I've lived in this house they have never shined and this cleaning spray like just made it shine so well and um, yeah anyways totally in love with it you should definitely try it out especially if you're pregnant and you don't want to be breathing in stuff or um, if you need something that's cost efficient 
uh, anything like that, like it, or if you just want to try something new, <laughs> I really recommend it. Um, so possible nesting, I just like to clean, go through stuff, get rid of stuff, and um, my house is clean before I go to bed because uh, it just, I don't know, I just feel better that way. And um, I, like I have like this total urge to like shampoo my carpets, like probably within the next like couple weeks I'm going to like rent a shampooer or ask around and see if people have one because I really want to clean my carpets. <laughs> like, I don't know, nesting probably. <laughs> um, and then I did, I know this is the 19 week update, but I did have my 20 week anatomy scan on Wednesday and um, we got the gender in an envelope, but I do not have that because we are doing our reveal tomorrow night. Saturday night um, our family decided to put something together for us to surprise us and that was so hard to do like because I'm so used to just finding out the gender right there in the ultrasound um, but everything looks good with baby no abnormalities or nothing looks funky so that's good um, but she told me to like she told us to like look away um, when she was going to go check out like the bladder and stuff so we couldn't see the parts and um, but we just couldn't look away <laughs> uh, but it, in an ultrasound it's really hard well for me anyway it's kind of hard to tell um, boy and girl differences um, because even in ultrasounds girls can look a little pudgy right there I just know like I've heard that like with the girls you'll see like just three lines and that's how you know it's a girl um, but my husband and I both think it's a boy. We think we saw boy parts, but we could be totally wrong. That is not a definite 100% answer. But my gut is also kind of, um, leaning more towards boy now, but we'll see. Um, we will find that out tomorrow. We are going to get it on camera, even if it's just like during the reveal, um, yeah, and I'll get that posted on my 20-week update slash gender reveal, which will be next week. And I promise I will get it to you guys by Monday or Tuesday. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's about it for my 19-week update. I know it's really short, um, but like I said, it was just a crazy busy week. I was not like aware of really any differences um, in... How I was feeling or anything like that um, I am feeling more movements from the baby because the baby is getting bigger and let me tell you this baby is active <laughs> but it's also very stubborn when it's sleeping like it fell asleep in the middle of the ultrasound and even the ultrasound tech is just like pushing on my belly trying to get the baby to move and cooperate so that she could get like a good image of its head and it didn't even want to budge like it's a stubborn sleeper <laughs> Uh, but definitely an active baby and I love it because I love feeling it move that's like my probably one of my favorite parts about pregnancy is getting to feel baby movements and kicks um, so yeah that is about it for this um, and as always go ahead and um, comment down below any questions or positive comments and um, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss the gender reveal. I am so excited about this. And um, I know maybe a lot of you have been waiting to find out the gender as well. I know like some of the pregnancy um, vlogs that I watch, I like just cannot wait to find out what they're having. Like I know that, that that's one of the most exciting parts other than childbirth of um, pregnancy. So don't miss the gender reveal and if you want to do something fun or make it fun go ahead and write down below what you think it might be whether you think it might be a boy or a girl um I did want to do a um old wives tale gender prediction um video but my husband is just working non-stop and I wanted him to be in the video with me 
I just started a part-time job and then with my son being sick this whole week and the gender reveal being tomorrow, I'm probably not going to be able to get that video up for you guys, but I would like to see what you think it is. Um, just based on, you can go back and look at all my different updates and see like symptoms that I've had or even look at like the update pictures, like the bump dates and see if you notice if I'm carrying high or low. Um, but if you want to make it fun, go ahead and write down below what you think it is because I do want to um, kind of keep a tally and um, I'm going to post it on Facebook as well so my friends and family can um, write what they think it is. And yeah, I think it would kind of make this a little fun. So um, thanks guys for watching this video uh, and I will post that um, or post my belly shot and then post some of those pictures from that spray if you care at all. If you don't, you can just like skip or end it after um, the baby, the bunk date. But um, yeah, highly recommend making that spray. Anyways, guys, um, I will see you in my next video and the next video will be the gender reveal. So stay tuned. It'll be fun. Thanks, guys.